infidel! Man, don't these guys ever give up? You regret showing your face here? We'll strike you down in the name of Yevon! <sighs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so guys... If they want to fight, let's give them one! Prepare to charge! Stop! Captain? Lady Yuna is not to be harmed. She's no traitor. That is an evil rumor spread by the Albed. What? Maester Micah himself told me. Then what are we to do? Stand down! As she says. What was that about evil Albed? I... Truly, I do not understand it myself. Oh, Yevon seems to be in a state of confusion. Why, yesterday, they called me out of the blue and made me captain of the guard. <laughs> Short on believers? Yes, the chaos in the temples is worse than I'd imagined. It's horrible. And all the priests do is blame each other. I worry what will become of Yevon. But no! I must be the rock that stands against the swirling tides, right? <laughs> Lady Yuna, I must tell you, your courage has been a great inspiration to me. Yeah, that's great, but we came here to see Maester Micah. Is he here? Y yes, uh, I shall arrange an audience. Please wait in the courtroom. Hey! Hey! Wait! What was all that about the Albed lying and stuff? Simple. Yuna has become Micah's only hope. Oh... Okay. Just what does he think he can get away with? Time to teach him some manners. Yes, let's... Why are you here? You must go and defeat Sin quickly. You have obtained the final Aeon from Unaleska, have you not? Well, we did meet her. We fought and defeated her. What? Summoners and Guardians will be sacrificed for the final summoning no more. You have profaned and subverted a thousand-year-old tradition. Fools! Infants, do you realize what you've done? You've taken away the only means of calming sin. Hey, maybe that's not the only way. We think we've got another. Why? Preposterous, there is no other way. The Grand Maester running away. Spira has lost its only hope. Destruction is inevitable. You Yevon's spiral of death will consume us all. I have no desire to watch Spira die. It won't die. Who is this Yu Yevon guy? Lady Unaleska also mentioned him. Wait, Gramps! Who's Yu Yevon? He who crafts the souls of the dead into unholy armor. An armor called Sin. Clad in it, you, Yevon, is invincible. And the only thing that could have pierced that armor, you have destroyed! Nothing can stop it now. Disappear on us, will you? Rotten son of a chupa! Where... where is the Grand Maester? He, um... He's not here yet. How long must we wait? That's odd. I'll go look for his grace. It's you. Come to my room. Okay. Who are you talking to? Oh, uh, no one. 
I must go see the Faith. <laughs> I see. Hello. I must thank you for the Aeon. So what's up? So, have you found a way to truly defeat Sin? Well... Well? We fight Yu Yevon. Yes. If you defeat Yu Yevon, it will end. Tell me, what do you know about Yu Yevon? He's what makes Sin come back. Sin is his armor. It protects him. Yu Yevon was once a summoner long ago. He was peerless. Yet now he lives for one purpose, only to summon. He is neither good nor evil. He is awake, yet he dreams. But maybe not forever. Yeah, that's right. Because we're ending it. Yes. Even if you defeat Sin with the final summoning, Yu Yevon will live. Yu Yevon will join with the final Aeon. He will transform it into a new Sin. Yu Yevon merges with the Aeon. Then, protected by this new Sin he has created, Yu Yevon continues the summoning. For eternity, huh? But you know there is no such thing as eternity if you end it, is there? Uh-huh. Yu Yevon lives inside Sin. Yuna, listen. When you fight Yu Yevon, we will help you. Promise me you'll summon us. I'm afraid your swords and magic won't be enough. Please call us. Promise? Yes. But you know... When it is all over... We will wake, and our dream will end. Our dream... Will vanish. Yeah. You've been dreaming a long time, haven't you? I'm sorry. I'm grateful. About what? Oh, nothing. Hey, don't make that face. Come on, we're gonna beat Sin. Uh, let's see some cheer, okay? You're hiding something. I'm not. Really? You're a bad liar, you know. I... I'm afraid the Grand Maester is nowhere to be found. It's okay, we were just leaving. Oh. I see. Hey! Maybe you could help us with the hymn. Hey, good idea! It's like... We need you to tell as many people as you can. What should I tell them? A ship in the sky will sing the hymn of the faith. When they hear it, we need everyone to sing along. Everyone in Spira! I'm not sure I understand. You don't have to. Just tell everyone. A ship in the sky will sing the hymn of the faith? So, when they hear it, everyone should sing along, correct? If they do, we might be able to defeat Sin. Truly? 
Yes. That's wonderful. You can count on me. I shall tell all of Spira. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Let's Play Final Fantasy X. It has been a while since I last recorded this game. Wow. Like, almost a month, almost. Almost. Hmm. Anywho. Um... Quick, uh, quick update on stuff I did off screen. Um, I ran around, got a few of the celestial weapons, specifically Tidus, um, Orin, and Yuna. <clears throat> I was able to get Riku's, but I haven't upgraded it yet. Um, I have not gotten anyone else's. Uh, this is because a lot of them are kind of annoying to get. <laughs> um, the reason why we ha also have that opening cutscene, by the way, the one that um, this is going to start off on, is because there is a hidden merchant I did not know existed in this game. And apparently he was in the original version, too. This merchant unlocks the ability to buy these type of stuff. <clears throat> Pure blank armor and weaponry. Um, it's actually Awaka's brother. Um, he only appears after you talk to Maester Micah in um, uh, Bavel. So, that's awesome. <clears throat> um, he should appear after that as well uh, to the end of the game. But basically, he will have completely blank, customizable weapons and armor. They, you have to buy. A, they go for a lot, so you have to have a lot of gill first. Sorry, I'm stuck in the back of my throat. Anywho, um, before we get on to this set, I'm gonna say this real quickly. There's a good chance I probably won't get everyone's celestial weapons. This includes the guide videos I've been working on trying to get them. Uh, this is strictly due to because I really want to get into Final Fantasy X too. Final Fantasy X 2 has one of my favorite Final Fantasy characters in it. So, I kind of want to play it real badly. So, I may just bum rush the rest of the game. Um, if you want to see the Omega Ruins, feel free to leave a comment saying so and I'll do it. But, for the most part, we're just going to bum rush the rest of the game. We should be fine. Um, most characters, Tidus and Auron specifically, and Rico, I believe, even have actually mastered their um, grid. <clears throat> mastered, quote-unquote. Um, everyone else ha are, is close, though. Like, uh, Waka's is right up here. Tease is done. I'm just going backtrack. I'm just backtracking to get some stuff. Uh, Lulu's is right over here. Orin is done. Yuna needs to get down over here. Rika's done. And Kimari's done. That's right. Jeez, my throat. Hold on a second. I'm going to pour me a drink. Um, yeah, like I said, I really want to get into Final Fantasy X-2. It is one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. Strictly due to the fact that it is a continuation to a story. And I love games that ha uh, I love games that continue the story in an epilogue-like fashion. So, it's awesome. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Speaking of which, there are rumors that a Final Fantasy X-3 is, um, in the works, so we may get that soon, too. Anyway, uh, we're gonna fight Sin. Final showdown. Let's do this! Well, this is it, huh? Yu Yevin's hiding somewhere inside Sin, and we're gonna find him. Well, that sounds pretty simple. Hey, simple is the way you like it, right? You got that right. Pops, I'm counting on ya. Right, got you covered. Yeah. How's that? Oh, right on. Singing ship in the sky. I hope everyone got the message. Shreen! All right, 
We're going in. How are we gonna get inside? The easy way. How else? Figures. Well, let's go. Hey, how you plan on getting inside? If we can't get through the mouth, we'll rip open a new one. You with me? <laughs> what I call a plan. Petra, a goof free do we car? Of course. Of course. All right. We'll give that thing a new blowhole. All you gotta do is jump. Roger. I won't tell you to be careful. Do your worst, kiddo. Roger. Pet. <clears throat> Riku, you... Uh, guard! Will do. Alright, let's go do this! Hey, Ren! How you doing, buddy? Any last minute? What you got, buddy? Ren also sells a bunch of this fun stuff, too. Um, but it all has a Strength Plus 10 modifier to it, which is actually kind of useful. Actually... Hmm, I actually may be able to use this. Alright, later. You're set. But of course, once sin is gone. Fair enough. Your dedication. May I Follow side note, I'm gonna say this real quickly, because I actually know I actually know this. This says Shiranui. I know what this means in Japanese. Depends on the kanji, of course. It means unknown Thank flame, you. which I love the name Your of that. Um, my advice right quick, before we go on. Create a weapon with Zombie Strike. Not Zombie Touch, Zombie Strike. This is because one of the final bosses is vulnerable to Zombie. And the boss also has a auto heal ability. So this will basically make the final boss fight just cake. Alright, so we want that, um, where is, I don't have a sensor, where's sensor? Sensor, and let's throw in a piercing. There we go. Alright then. Let's go do this. This anymore, right? Oh, <laughs> right? Huh. Hey, guys, guys. That's not good, yeah?
damn you, old man. Hey, hey I, I saw, saw something shine at the base of Shane's arm. arm. I, I reckon, reckon it's, it's a weak, weak spot. spot. Come on! Red, red! Fain, I'm Sin's pulling us in! Everyone, back inside! Don't believe me, I love characters that are just so godly powerful that they are able to do that type of crap. I love that. Okay, so. Let's do this. We gotta fight that thing. Unfortunately, you can't do Jack. So, let's switch to you now. It's something to veil for. Oh, crap. I have it set to look the, the quick thing. Oh, well. Fun little side note. I gotta mention this. Um, I did my first summonings for Yojimbo off screen. And I gave him 200 gil to kill a weak enemy. What's he do? He uses Zanmato, his one hit KO. Really annoying. I'm like, okay, that's funny, but stop it. I go to another fight, like three fights later on, summon him again. Give him 300 gil, Zanmato. Like, Mother. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? He never uses that type of stuff for me. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and blast that. Out of range? Bullcrap. I probably should have summoned Anima just for the sheer mm, you know alright let's dismiss you I can also summon Yojimbo no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to summon Yojimbo later if memory serves, he pretty much stands closer, still unless closer. we get too close for a while. Just a minute. All right, let's let's summon Anima and build up her uh, her overdrive. I'm gonna need that. Rock. There we go, there's some damage. Hey. Jeez. Ouchies. That's gonna take a bit of time. How much damage does this do? And that's not that bad. Right. Twelve. Nice. Oh crap. Oh crap. That's not good. Uh, shield. Don't hurt me. Oh crap. Oh crap. Gravager. That's not gonna do squat defending. Oh, did cool. Gravage is basically like a, gra a demi spell, um, if memory serves, where it just um, uh, takes off a portion of your HP. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to be the case. I just want Anima's overdrive. There we go. Oh boy. It did 700 damage, right? I'm right, gonna attack and defend again. I'm gonna have Anima tank this attack and then we'll uh, de summon her. Come on, survive it. Survive it. Whew, good. I don't think gravity can kill her, or kill any of our characters. I think it's like how, um, in Final Fantasy VIII, Diablos would use, uh, Gravija, or gravity spells, to just weaken your party so it can one-hit KO. Oof. Ouchies. Right, 
Sword play. Let's see if he pulls off. With cap lock. Not, no, not good, not good. That's not good. Probably an Orin for this. There we go. Punt. Alright. Uh, summon... <laughs> There's no point summoning your Jimbo. There's no point whatsoever. Or there's, there's, a, there's a point to summon him if I want if I can use Zanmato, but there's no point in building up his overdrive. If you ever grand summon your Jimbo, you wasted a grand summon. Oi! Cascade! Okami said! That's her special uh unique attack. Did I break the arm? I did. Good. Go, um... Don't remember. Here goes! Everyone, hold on to something! Here we go! Those who don't remember, these are the weapons that was used in Operation Mihen that actually hurt Sam. That broke his shield. Actually, sir, nice, nice. Alright, next spin. It's pretty much the same thing. My magic. That's eh, special prank. Let's do that. Alright. Trigger, move in. Go closer! Go closer! Just a minute! Okay. Black magic. Ultima. A magic boosted Ultima. It's gonna hurt. Hopefully. Yeah. Special prey. Black magic. Haska. There.